Hey guys, what's going on? Doug here. This is Doug Sells. Man, I just I just kind of figured out something today. And I've been on eBay for off and on since about 2014. And today I just figured out something. I figured out I've been listing my listings incorrectly the entire time. Well, I guess there are many ways you can list, but the the way to list your items so you can get uh, the most views and so you'll have the best chance to make a sale. Now, I don't have a lot of data to back this up, but um, I did a couple searches during my lunch hour today at work uh, for some items. Uh, I picked out a few items that had zero views in my listings that I thought should probably be getting some views. So I decided, I decided to do some searches and just to see like where I came up in the search, you know, where my item comes up in the search results for some of these. Uh, the first item I searched for was a Dallas Cowboys t-shirt. Now we'll go here. Uh, actually, I got it pulled up already. So here, here's the Dallas Cowboys t-shirt. Now I've already fixed it. I've already fixed it. And, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you, uh, what I found out and how to correct it. So, uh, I typed in vintage Dallas Cowboys. Now you see how, you see how I'm typing this and let me delete this. So that was my previous search. So I'm going to type in vintage and then I'm going to type in Dallas. Now eBay right here is telling you what people are searching for as you're typing. So the number one search result for after somebody typing vintage Dallas is Cowboys. It's exactly what I'm looking for. So Cowboys, uh, not cow bosses, but, uh, Cowboys. Yes. Uh, so the next thing people look for after that is a hat and a shirt. And so what I have is a shirt that I can't find. Uh, but I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of showing you this, uh, as I go here, I don't, I don't really have an outline or anything like that. So, uh, bear with me guys. So, uh, Dallas Cowboys shirt is what we're looking for. I use that. I used eBay suggestion on the top search for vintage Dallas Cowboy t-shirt and it's not even t-shirt it's shirt. So we did that search and I began looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. And, um, I even dug down to uh, the size medium, which is size medium. And then I dug down to the color, I believe. Yeah. Color. I went black cause it's a black t-shirt. Couldn't find it because let me show you when you, when you dig down to medium and which is the size, and then you dig down on the color to black, it really cuts your, your search results down there. There's 60 that meet that search result and vintage Dallas Cowboys shirt. All right. So uh, let me back out of this and I'll show you the first mistake that I made. The first mistake that I made when we make the search over here in the categories, it automatically defaults to fan apparel and souvenirs, football dash NFL. I had my search, my shirt here, clothing, shoes, and accessories. When you click that, it gives you an entire different search result, entirely different search result. And I had it in specialty, vintage, men's vintage clothing, t-shirts which fine. That's, that's where I had it listed, but that's fine. If you just click on clothing, shoes, and accessories, it will, uh, it will, it will find that in that umbrella. So the point I'm trying to make here is when you originally type this in and you hit search, it defaults to football dash NFL. A lot of people don't dig down into this. This is the default search. This is where they're going to start scrolling. Am I right? Or am I wrong? So, You've shopped on eBay. Uh, I know some of you probably go straight to the categories and, and maybe you look around, uh, but tell me if you're looking for something specific, uh, pick out your favorite sports team, your favorite uh, NASCAR driver, your favorite musician. Uh, just, you know, how would you search for that? And what would you do? It probably exactly what I said, type that in, start scrolling, right? You may make adjustments on the size the color, uh, maybe you're looking for a price point, stuff like that. But, um, that was my, so that was my first mistake. It was not in the default category. It was in the vintage t-shirt category. Now you can add to, um, let's, let's go in here. You can add two categories, but it costs you 25 cents. If, if I were to come in here and also add clothing, shoes and accessories, specialty, 
vintage, men's vintage clothing, t-shirts. That's fine. Now I've got it in two categories, but look at this. It costs you 25 cents to add a second category, and we're not going to do that. So I went in and I fixed it. I added it to the uh, NFL fan apparel and souvenirs, football dash NFL. It, you know, it wasn't even showing up before. Let me tell you the second mistake that I made. I had typed in somewhere, something like uh, vintage 90s Dallas Cowboys single stitch t-shirt with all these keywords, you know, uh, and what I should have been focusing on is what people search for. Like I said, as we typed, it tells us what people search for. So vintage Dallas Cowboys shirt to me in my head, I thought, man, that should be, that should be the, the biggest, the first catchphrase in my, in my title to maybe have my best chance to show up in search. That's what I did. I typed in vintage Dallas Cowboys shirt. I did NFL Salem sportswear single stitch also added t-shirt because it gives you different search results when you search for shirt, t-shirt and t dash shirt. Let me see. Uh, let me try t dash shirt and see if it does the same thing. I did the same thing with a, uh, a Jimmy Buffett shirt. No, it goes to football NFL still. So when earlier, I'll, I'll show you just in a second, but earlier I did a Jimmy Buffett shirt. I was trying to do the same thing. It gave different search results under t-shirt shirt and t dash shirt but for t-shirt and shirt it listed it in vintage t-shirts t dash shirt it listed it in men's shirts not vintage men's shirts t-shirts so two different categories there and uh when i was looking for the jimmy buffett shirt ebay told me that people type in uh more than shirt they type in t dash shirt when looking for jimmy buffett shirts go figure i don't know but anyway here we are in our um football nfl and from not being in any search results at all we're gonna see where this is right now and i'm not even you know let's do the size let's do the size because people are gonna people are gonna search and then the first thing they're gonna do is is go to their size so they can see you know, what's available to them. So let's go on medium. Let's scroll down and see if we can find it. Yes, I'm stretching these words out as we scroll. Okay, here it is. Here's my shirt. It's on the second page. It's not on the first page, but it is on the second page. But at least it's in the right category now. It's under a, a popular search phrase. And I'm hoping to get more views on that. Now, if we were to do something like if somebody, the next thing anybody's going to do after they do their size is they're probably going to go to the color. So let's go to color and they, maybe they want a black t-shirt. And so if they search for medium black t-shirts under vintage Dallas Cowboys shirt, uh, then my shirt should be on the first page right here. So it's, uh, so it's, it, it's looking better now. All right. So those are two things to look out for. Uh, I'll show you another one that I did to Pendleton. Um, I have a Pendleton shirt and it's a vintage Pendleton shirt. So um, we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, let's go back and go to a fresh search. We're going to do vintage Pendleton. And the top search for vintage Pendleton is jacket. The next one is shirt. You see down here, Pendleton flannel coat, wool shirt. That one is a wool shirt. So, but the top, the second search overall is vintage and Vintage Pendleton shirt. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And uh, we're just going to search for Vintage Pendleton shirt. Now, let me show you this one. It defaults to casual button-down shirts. Even though I typed in Vintage Pendleton shirt, it did not default to a vintage category. It defaulted to a casual button-down shirt category. So I had to go in and change that. I changed that. I changed the title to Vintage Pendleton shirt, wool size small, uh, size small medium because the 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 measurements are kind of in between, long sleeve red plaid. So as long as you have it in the right category, like they you know the more they search for details, then the better uh, chance your shirt has to find. But you also want to make sure it comes up and it shows uh, with the popular and the most searched phrase that they use for this particular item, which is vintage Pendleton shirt. So I did that. And, you know, here 
again, you're going to go straight to your size and the tag says medium. So I have it, I have it listed as a medium, uh, in the actual details. So, uh, we'll go to medium and then, um, I would say a lot of people probably go to color next, but we won't even do color and I'll see how far it is without the color specified and then how far it is with the color specified. All right, here's my shirt right here. It is on the second page. You would hope to get it on the first page. Now the Jimmy Buffett shirt that I was talking about, I did get on the first page with all three search results. Uh, so maybe I should have showed you that one. But anyway, this is on the second page, uh, which is fine. At least it's in the right category now. And if we get on here and if somebody is looking specifically for a red one, we'll see where we are. If we just choose these two, uh, medium and red, we'll see where we are when we dig down that deep. I'm not even digging down real deep or being super specific, just those two details. And I want to see where I am I'm probably on the first page somewhere. Yep. There it is. First page. We didn't even have to scroll down that far and there it is. So I'm hoping to get more views on that one. All right, so those are the tips I have for you guys. So when you're doing your research, research the top keywords and the top phrases that eBay suggests for you. You know, it's it's you can apply. I'm doing it for clothes. I'm sure you're sure you can apply this to anything you're trying to sell. Watch out for the keywords and key phrases that eBay suggests to you because that's what people are searching for. Use those key phrases. Two, watch out for the default category that your item goes into when you search for that key phrase. Like I would have never thought a vintage Pendleton shirt would have been in the non-vintage casual button down shirt uh, category. And let's do one live. I want to do one live. I just want to pick a random and, you know, uh, maybe you're sticking around just because you want to see if this actually works, but I I'm going to do it live. I'm going to pick just a, a random item out of my store. I'm going to go look at my items and sort them by views. I have, like I said, I have a bunch of views, a bunch of items. I mean, that have no views. And so we're going to do this and there we go. So this is one of the very first items that I listed when I started reselling again. So we're going to, we're going to use that one. Just vintage Ole Miss rebels. How about that? Let's open it up and go to edit. Okay. I probably could have done a bit better job with the pictures on this one, but you know, you learn as you go. So what I want to do is. Let's, uh, let's search for vintage Ole Miss. And the absolute first thing that comes up is shirt. So we're going to type in shirt and that's all it's giving me after shirt. So anyway, let's type in vintage Ole Miss shirt. Cause that is the top, the top, uh, search category search phrase for the item that I have. So we're going to search. All right, here we are now. It did not, it defaulted to the all category which is, I guess, kind of what you want it, want it to do, I guess, because like I've got it listed in vintage t-shirts. And so there you see clothing, shoes, and accessories. So that's where it would fall. I don't know it prior if it prioritizes these categories or not. If anybody knows that, I would love to hear that. But we're going to keep on uh, researching and see if we can find this. So it's a size XL. So we're going to do XL. All right, so there's 2,100 results. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a search real quick to see how far down my shirt actually is. And then I'll let you know what page it's on and we'll see if we can improve that. Now I'm sitting here scrolling and I'm seeing all types of different teams. So I'm a little confused of why all these different teams, I see Purdue, Princeton, Duke, uh, UNC, NC State. I see all these different teams showing up under uh, vintage Ole Miss shirt. You know, this is, this is weird. I did no wonder like my, my had my shirt hadn't gotten any views since I listed it. Cause it like, if somebody searched for vintage Ole Miss or vintage Ole Miss rebel shirt, it gives you Ole Miss rebel shirt and everything else. Let's search for gray. Cause it's gray. Okay. Yeah. So I dug down to XL and gray, uh, which my shirt is in my shirt is nowhere in search results. So we're going to see if we can try to get into the search results. So we're just going to go. We're just going to go with the, what eBay says. So vintage, uh, old miss shirt. We're going to type in Colonel Reb cause Colonel Reb is no longer around anymore. Vintage old miss shirt, Colonel Reb gray size XL 1990s. All right. So it's in the right.
category of vintage clothing, but I, I almost want, I almost, I'm almost like, uh, want to know if it prioritizes these categories from top to bottom. Like if it looks through all the categories first, you know what I mean? So we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to do some live testing right here. Guys, this video may run a little long, so I apologize. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, if, if people didn't realize that these are things that you look for, then I hope it helps somebody. So it's definitely helped me. And I, definitely uh have my work cut out for me now because i have to go fix my entire ebay store okay it has been revised to the search term that they suggest vintage ole miss shirt then i put colonel rev gray size xl 1990s all right while we're waiting for the database to update like it takes about five to ten minutes for that to update we're going to pick another shirt out and see if we can do uh, something very similar. We have zero views on all these shirts. Look at these. It's probably best to do like a sports shirt or something like that. Okay, this Jeff Gordon shirt right here. Vintage Jeff Gordon shirt, right? This is kind of crazy that this thing has not gotten any views yet. It's like a double-sided Jeff Gordon shirt. These shirts are very popular. I don't understand why this thing hasn't gotten any views yet. Literally, since the whole time I've listed it, it's probably gotten two or three views in the three months that I've been listing. So uh, let's do a little bit of research on that. I already see a problem. I don't know if this is a problem or not, but there's a space right there, an extra space. I don't know if that causes a problem or what, but let's just go up here and let's type in vintage Jeff Gordon, O-N, O-N, yeah. Vintage Jeff Gordon, yeah, O-N. And it's shirt again. Vintage Jeff Gordon shirt. And let's look down here. There's all over print. That's not all over though. That's double sided, but it's not all over. So uh, vintage Jeff Gordon shirt. And so we're gonna do a search on that. So here we are. What's our size here? Uh, size is gonna be two XL. So we'll we'll dig down to two XL. Somebody's going to look for their size. 455 results. Let's see if we can find our shirt in uh, these results. Okay, I just searched through two pages of shirts, and my shirt is not in the, the most popular search uh, phrase for vintage Jeff Gordon. And, you know, uh, when, you're, when you're trying to resell to me, that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, and we're going to – we're going through – prioritize the category, the first category listed, and we're going to see if, if that works. So sports memorabilia, fan shop and sports cards. And then, and it's NASCAR fan apparel and souvenirs. So let's, let's see what comes up. Uh, yeah, here it is racing NASCAR. So we're going to do that. We're going to keep it in vintage t-shirts in my, in my store. Uh, so we're going to go to XL products, a shirt driver is Jeff Gordon. Uh, it's chase authentics. When we get there team, I don't know what team it is. Just looked it up. It's Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, it's uh chase. They got it right there for me already player. Uh, Jeff Gordon again. I don't know why it's wanting that again. Uh, it's a men's shirt. It's black. And uh, we're going to skip that. And. I don't know, let me fin let me finish this. All right, now we're gonna change the title. So vintage Jeff Gordon shirt. That is the phrase we want to use. And so uh, after that, we can uh, we can use whatever we want. I'm gonna use the term phrase double sided night warrior black. We're also gonna put the term t-shirt in there. So we'll have shirt and t-shirt. This is from '97, so we'll put two uh, XL '90s. All right, that looks good. So we got it in a different category. We got it in a NASCAR category, which uh, I'm thinking these might these categories might be prioritized. I'm just not sure. We'll figure that out. Or if somebody knows, please tell me. And we're gonna go ahead and relist this and revise it. Meanwhile, let's check on our vintage Ole Miss shirt. So we'll type in vintage Ole Miss shirt. Now it's giving me something different. It's giving me hat. Oh no, there it is. There we go. Vintage Ole Miss shirt. And we're going to go to Excel because it's an Excel. People are going to look for their size. And let me just, without digging down any further, let me just see if it's on uh, one of these pages. This is 2,100 results. Like I said, there's other team names on here, other teams for some reason. So uh, 
Let me just dig down deep in here and see if we can find it. Okay, here we are. We found it. Here's my shirt. This is on the second page. It's on the second page of the vintage vintage Ole Miss shirt. So at least it's showing up now, right? So, but I don't like all these different, I don't like all these different colleges in here. So uh, I'm actually going to edit this one again. And I did a search, you know, I, I'm not going to put it in there, but um, I'm going to put this as the phrase, vintage Colonel Reb shirt. And then I'm going to put Ole Miss Rebels. Gray size XL 1990s. So now anytime anybody search for vintage Colonel Reb, uh, it's going to come up, uh, which is fine with me. So uh, let's revise it. All right. Now here we've searched for vintage Colonel Reb and uh, people do look for this a lot. So now vintage Colonel Reb, uh, it is on the third row. So it is the eight, nine, ten, the 11th item that shows up. So look for the keywords that you can use, fill those out, fill the keywords out that eBay gives you, use those, make sure it's in the correct category. See, this one went into college. When I typed this in, it went into college-NCAA so, as well. So um, I'm thinking it might prioritize uh, these categories, whether it goes to a default or not. Let's do a search for our Jeff Gordon shirt that we just that we just did. All right, we're going to choose 2XL on our Jeff Gordon shirt because that's what it is. Uh, I definitely think people will go straight to their size. I think they'll look at everything, unless they're just looking specific, specifically for a black shirt. I'm just going to leave this uh, this up right here. Now, it has different drivers that are in this category. I'm going to choose Jeff Gordon just to narrow it down. And now we're going to look for our shirt to see where it ends up. Now, remember before, it did not show up at all in this category. Here we are, guys. Here is the shirt. It is uh, on the first page about halfway down in this category. So we got it from not showing up at all to now it's showing up on the first page in the default search category for when you first search uh, this shirt. So those are the things to pay attention to. All right, we're not going to do any more. Like I said, this video is uh, probably going to be pretty long, but I hope it helps somebody. Uh, so just to go over it again, when doing your research, uh, and you type in your key phrase, make sure it is a key phrase. It's one of the top key phrases that eBay uses. Check out the category because sometimes the default category might not be the category that you think it's going to go into. And uh, I think it will help you get better search results and hopefully better sales. So like I said, I hope this helped somebody. If you're new, if you're a vet, you probably didn't watch this, so you're not even at the end of the video, <laughs> please hit like if this helped somebody, if it helped you at all, hit like uh, on the video. It really helps the channel. And if you're a new viewer, subscribe and come back for more. We're going to talk some more eBay, some more reselling. So I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.